as we talk about COVID-19, we certainly are marking a somber anniversary in this country. It has been exactly one year since Canada's first... Looking forward, but with an eye on the past, Canada marks one year in the pandemic. Uh, it is, however, though, a, a somber anniversary in this country. A year ago today, the World Health Organization declared a pandemic. Our lives were turned upside down. Businesses and schools closed. Thousands of Canadians were laid off. Everyone was told to stay home while the virus spread across the country. One year. That's how long it has been since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. A year when many experienced isolation, tragic losses, uncertainty, and social distancing. It has made for an unprecedented global nightmare, one from which at times it felt we would never wake up. But along the way, an incredible thing happened a new way of thinking, and many people began to look and find creative solutions for our new reality. While the past year has been tremendously challenging, there have been remarkable stories of human resilience, entrepreneurship, and creativity. Our Enactus Seneca team grew to having 32 volunteers, four times more than our first year in 2019. Almost 3,000 volunteer hours dedicated to causes that need them. And we are not slowing down and we are working hard not only on one project, but we also started a new one. In the mid-November 2020, the Enactus Seneca team launched the project Reach, Reclaim, Revive. Every year, approximately a million misprinted milk bags were produced in Ontario and approximately 850 to 2,000 youth are homeless on any given night in Toronto. Project Reach, Reclaim, Revive was built on the concept of community bridging. Our project aims at repurposing plastic bags, materials from car scraps and textile waste in order to make mattresses, pillows and blankets. We will teach at-risk youth the weaving skills as well as take them through a series of financial literacy and entrepreneurship workshops in hopes that the knowledge they receive would empower them to reach prosperity and flourish. The project will be delivered by Seneca students through Seneca Student Federation Clubs, Milk Bags Unlimited Seneca Student Club, Flourishing Enterprise, and Prosper Seneca Financial Literacy Student Hub. We will reach and teach students the contents virtually and utilize the train the trainer model while providing them with leadership building opportunities through connecting them with audiences in the Seneca community to teach. In order to make sure that we are ready for the unexpected, we will be evaluating this program as we go to show that it is making a difference and providing surveys to organization and participants for feedbacks for potential improvement on our products. In our flourishing enterprise club, we will provide students this brand new business canvas concept and case studies opportunities through virtual workshops. This business canvas not only helped us build our current, next and future model for the project, it also assisted us transforming some of the audiences at Helix into the first explorers of this new business canvas. We have reached and taught the concept of the canvas to 52 students at Aldershot School and seven students at Seneca. In order to instill social responsibility to our Seneca community members, we will be teaching our participants on how to weave milk bags into usable mats. We will also lend them the weaving frames in IKEA style so they can assemble it themselves. We have taught the method to nine Seneca students to date. We also have several prototypes in development, which include mattresses, blankets, and pillows. These prototypes will utilize materials we collected from Sustainable Seneca, Auto Recyclers Canada, and Milk Bags Unlimited. To date, we have collected two car seats, around five kilograms of shredded textiles, and 30,000 milk bags. In the financial literacy portion of the project, we will teach students financial literacy based on contents obtained from TD Ready Commitment and CPA Post-Secondary Ambassador Program. We have also included content from Seneca and showed the materials to faculty members to ensure the quality of the materials we deliver. To date, we have reached 46 students. Additionally, we will take students through a series of interactive workshops including QuickBooks, Excel, and Acrobat DC, and we have delivered our very first Excel workshop in collaboration with Seneca Student Leaders of Accounting and Financial Services to 25 Seneca students. Our project aims at providing social enterprise building foundation to its participants in Phase 1. 
In phase two, the project aims at functioning as a social enterprise utilizing Seneca student leaders as agents for change who will also work with employed at-risk youths and assist them in problems resolutions. The ultimate goal of our project is to provide knowledge on how financial capital can be obtained in our financial literacy branch, providing tools to achieve entrepreneurial dreams in our entrepreneur workshops, and increasing awareness on climate change, employment opportunities, and how triple bottom lines are met in an enterprise in our Milk Bag initiative. I've engaged in Actus Seneca on two initiatives to help drive forward that innovation mindset. First one is around the Entrepreneurial Numeracy Skills Initiative. This app is developed to allow participants to better understand their level of entrepreneurial numeracy skills. The second is working with our high school innovation initiative. Uh, I brought them in as mentors working with Y2, an outside partner, to help develop and deliver mentorship to high school students and help them develop their innovation mindset. In both instances, the Enactus Seneca team was outstanding and I look forward to continuing that relationship with them. What we do is we work with students between grades 6 to 12 and help them build their problem solving skills, innovation skills and entrepreneurial mindset. One of the schools we work with is Aldershot High School in Burlington. About 80 students in grade 9 worked on a project that would address one of the UN SDGs. So what the students did was they came up with uh, you know, an idea, they, they came up with prototypes and they shared their prototypes with mentors to get feedback and the Enactus team came in. There were six members of the Enactus team who joined and they gave feedback to the students, which was really helpful for the students. Naxos has been really helpful in helping the students, the grade nine students at Aldershot High School, and I'm really grateful that uh, Naxos was able to step in and help. So basically, uh, the, the student mentors from Seneca were there to help the students with their ideas, uh, listen to an initial very primitive type pitch, got to hear some ideas about what the students were thinking, what problem they were trying to solve, and what solution they were using to try and solve that problem and maybe some ways that uh, they were thinking of pitching this product to future investors. Seneca Prosper's workshops have really taught me a lot about financial literacy. And more specifically, it actually inspired me to get my own credit card because at one of the workshops they taught about earning credit, what are the benefits of earning good credit, and much more. I was able to learn to manage time effectively in a deal-oriented environment and to prioritize duties including redesigning the project, providing ongoing performance feedback to the team members, and carefully analyzing trends relating to sustainable business development while maintaining flexibility. We also need to talk about the Access to Aspire project. Over the past five years, the City of Toronto has taken steps to increase employment opportunities for youth, especially those who are a part of our vulnerable populations. These include visible minorities, newcomers, and Indigenous youth. Often, finances is the deciding factor for many in this population to not attend post-secondary education. Not wanting to take on more financial responsibility, students who leave high school are left with the impossible choice of low-paying jobs that require little education or pushing off dreams of post-secondary education to a much further time. Access to Aspire saw this opening and decided to meet this need through financial education for youth in marginalized communities. Engaging over 100 Seneca students with an interactive data collecting survey, the Access to Aspire team was able to collect relevant information not only on the needs to youth in Toronto, but on how to share resources to youth in our target demographic. Our next step is to partner with local community agencies within identified areas of need in Toronto and tailor our approach and overcome the barriers posed by lack of technological connectivity and inability to engage in person. The more we can build relationships, the better we can tailor our content and increase our impact to propel at-risk youth into future success and financial security. Malcolm X said that education is our passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Providing a pathway to post-secondary education through financial literacy is not just a passing fact, it's a need, a need to see lives and communities transformed, dreams achieved, and hope for a better future realized. I joined Access to Aspire to be a part of that vision, to use my skills and experience to help develop opportunities for marginalized youth through financial literacy. And that needs to happen now, today because their future has already begun. I am so proud of the manner in which Enactus Seneca has grown over the course of the year. Our social media and marketing has enabled the team to grow in numbers and visibility. 
our project leaders have increased impact while mentoring their own teams to develop soft skills. Our leadership has sought new partnerships. They challenge the status quo and themselves in the creation of a better world, one community at a time. I am honored to be part of Enactus Seneca. This year, COVID-19 did not stop our Enactus Seneca team from adding another project, Rich Reclaim Revive, contributing almost 3,000 volunteer hours, recruiting 20 additional project members, and directly impacting 178 youth in Greater Toronto Area, all of which was achieved through three following key areas of focus. The first area was a contribution towards a more sustainable planet done by uh, collecting 54 kilograms of waste that will further be diverted into mats, mattresses and pillows and will be donated to most in need demographics of GTA. The second area of focus was helping most vulnerable sectors of GTA to obtain financial literacy and entrepreneurship resources in partnership with Toronto Strong Neighborhood Strategy and other organizations. As a result, we mentored and conducted workshops for high school and college students, but we'll focus specifically on underprivileged youth uh, in GTA going forward. The third area of focus was empowering other leaders in the community to take social action by conducting mat weaving workshop and teaching flourishing canvas uh, concept, which is aimed specifically at social projects. As a result, we're expecting to maximize the impact uh, as well as ensure prosperity in the community going forward. And the Enactus Seneca team will not stop on this. We'll continue partnering with faculty and college departments to add more projects and recruit more student leaders. The Enactus Seneca team will continuously work to support these projects and more. We truly believe that every day is a new chance to build a sustainable and resilient 